Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by that Dom guy. As you can see here, uh, we've got a couple of simple creations here that I'm going to show you first. Uh, as you can see here, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this here is a lighter, a thick lighter. And yes, it makes it a fire. Put it to light. Need a light? And yes, of course, it wouldn't be one of my strange creations if it didn't fly. <laughs> and you go and fly around with your big lighter, give somebody a light if they need it. The steering's kind of weird because it's just the seat, seat steering, which is uh, facing upwards. So, yeah, we'll just crash into the rocks here. Okay, let's put that out before we hurt someone. So, yeah, simple big lighter. Wanted to see if I, how much I don't know, just destroying this thing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's a big lighter here. Let's uh, got a couple small thrusters in it, gimbals, of course. Okay, we'll leave the lighter, rebuild. Okay, you stay there. So, over here, another small uh, build I made recently is this uh, electric guitar jump in here and of course yes it flies it's a little weird again these really small creations are kind of hard to control especially if you don't want to be putting control surfaces on it like wings or something like that right so a lot of tapping on the old space bar and uh, delicate controls shall we say oh rock and roll Made easy if you want to rock and roll. So yeah, there's a small guitar. So I wanted to show these here to you first because the uh, the main build I wanted to show you in this episode is uh, is max complexity. So you can't have anything else here in the level with it. So we'll just get rid of these and we'll bring it in. All right, how are you, Mr. Lighter? Now, this is a four-in-one construction crew. It's actually four individual vehicles. As you can see here, we have a truck with a trailer. We're hauling, this is the, uh, the logs here that you can drop in those balls as well. When you get one of the vehicles and hit you, they all drop down there so you've got something to maneuver around. So there's the semi truck that you can load up there. It's got brake lights, nice little uh, stacks on there. Next vehicle in line here is a mag lifter. It was a small vehicle designed electric mag lifter with an electromagnet on the front for lifting stuff. Uh, this here is like a feller buncher type vehicle. Uh, again, for grabbing logs or grabbing things and pinching them around. Not much as far as lifting for height, but moving stuff. And then at the end, we have this small cat, this little uh, bulldozer here to, uh, to push things around in case you need to push anything. Around. So these are the four vehicles here. So I'll show you how they simply work. So we'll just get into the semi first here. And we'll get this, we'll get the truck out of the way. So we'll get into there. These vehicles are numbered from the cat going left is number one, two, three, and four to release them from the base. Uh, the letter U unloads the materials. Everything drops. Uh, we're gonna hit number four, unconnect the truck here. So then we've got our, our little semi. Zip around, get him parked in a decent spot. Loading up these logs. Okay, so that should work there. So, the mag lifter is the probably the easiest one. You can load that trailer completely with the mag lifter alone. Uh, but just to show you how some of these work here, we'll get into the uh, the buncher. That's number two. Just connect from there. The arrow keys also control any of the uh, attachments on the front. Go in here. 
real heavy in the front end, these suckers. And then you gotta pick something up with it on top of that, so. We've already got a bunch of weights built into them. Alright, so we'll tip this down here. Open these up. Let's see, we'll grab this one. Tip it back. No, 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 want the big brown one. Oh. Oh, really? Again, didn't want to make it too, too easy. All right, let's try this again here. Come on. Put her back. There you go. Okay, what do we got going on here? So as you can see, this one's okay for carrying stuff around. You can't really lift anything high enough to uh, get it into the truck. But it's good for delivering materials. There we go, we can deliver that one. But in all actuality, the actual easiest way. Let's get the cat. Disconnect with number one. There we go. And this has some articulation in the front as well, controlled by the arrow keys. So that one's good for pushing stuff around. It's actually got some, some torque. Also got the grippy wheels on it as well as you can tell. And then the most practical, useful vehicle of the four of them, other than the semi truck itself, number three, which is our electromag. As you can tell, it's electric because it's got the crazy mad scientist block on it. Okay, so let's just get in front of here. Grab that sucker. This Juan. Then we go get the Saal uh, Juan. Yeah, this this vehicle just makes it too easy. Uh, my God, my God. Let's see if we can get the green one in there next. Of course, that truck bed wasn't exactly designed to hold all of these, but let's make it happen, Captain. Grab that sucker. Whoa, 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 settle down, settle down. Okay, extend that puppy out, lean her forward a bit. Let her go. Oh, come on, I was hoping it was gonna drop in there and push that one. Well, maybe I can push it a little bit. Yes, there. Tap, tap, tap. No. Come on. What's going on here? Maybe it's up too far on the front, that other one on the other side. Let's see if we can give that one a jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Ooh. Hey, let's see if we can get the other brown one on there. Now, there was a bunch of balls here. I wonder where they all rolled off to. It's really wild how you can see how level these maps actually are, where the dips are. You just let a couple of balls go and they all disappear halfway across the map. Especially those little eyeballs. Okay, so grab this sucker. And oh, oh. Let's see, we can get it to sit. Use the back, on the back side, yeah. Maybe it can stay in there. Oh, that's going to be pretty close. Up a little, up a little. Just like 
that maybe maybe down a little bit there you go nice and easy let it go oh man that doesn't look too sturdy at all eh looks good enough for highway travel eh <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, I'll be staying home today if that's what's going to be on the road. A little, little, a little nudge there. No? Oh, yeah, hey, that worked pretty good. All right, let's see if we can actually move this truck now. Without shite flying off. Oh, I knew it. I knowed it. I knowed it. It's all right, I'll be back for that one. Well, not too good in the dirt either. These little wheels aren't that grippy. So yeah, that is the 4-in-1 construction crew. That is on the uh, Steam Shop, where the workshop. If you want to go have a look-see. Uh, or yeah, build one yourself. Build a little multiplex like this of uh, different vehicles for putting together a couple of houses. You know, put some, some walls together or whatever that can be held together with sensors and magnets or a little construction crew. Like I said, this one is actually at the maximum complexity limit. So I can't add anything more, or I can't even make any more logs or any other things that you can maneuver around with the vehicles. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, click that little like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these wild creations. And I uh, hope everyone has a great day.